Hello, Mr. Jorge. Welcome. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, good. Good. Welcome. You're the first one. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Yes, you are the first one to connect, and that's wonderful. <laughs> it looked like it was going to rain forever, right? Se veía como que iba a llover por unos 15 días. Pues aquí medio se ha calmado porque comenzaba a llover también. Time you. Here, here in San Salvador. Sorry, yeah, I was fixing something. Here in San Salvador, it was very dark, but very, very dark. Like if it was the end of the world, <laughs> it was so terrible. I said, oh no, this water falls, oh God, I'm going to the But no, in the end, <laughs> it didn't rain that much. And I said like, okay, that was good. So hello, Mr. Edwin, welcome. Hello, Mr. Walter. It's a pleasure to Hello, have you here. The men power. Hello. The boys are arriving early. Okay, so well, we're going to start our class. You see Mr. Luis Parrilla is arriving. Thank you for the ones who sent me the audio, right? Yeah. And let me see who says this. Mr. Okay, Mr. Omayawa. So thank you for the ones who sent me the audio. I was listening to them and it was interesting, right? I, I really loved how you answered the questions, right? It is, it is always a nice opportunity to practice listening, right? I would really love you to give me more details on the answers. ¿Qué nos falta todavía? Darme detalles. O sea, respuestas con detalles. No, just like, I'm eating, I'm cooking, I'm working, I'm driving. <laughs> you are very like, like my song, right? Me recuerdan a mi hijo. ¿Qué crees? ¿No? He doesn't say anything else, just one word. So, I would really love to receive longer answers. Like, for example, um, who are you eating with? Right, the, the question for the lunch. You say like, I'm eating lunch with my friends. That's it. I am eating lunch. I am eating chicken with my friends. My best friend is Juanito, whatever, right? Just give me more details about the answers. Not just the answer itself, because I mean, the more you practice, the more you are going to learn. So it is It is not really necessary that you say like, no, solo 10 segundos le voy a mandar a la ticha, nada más. You can send me three minutes, four minutes of audio. That's, I will be more than glad to listen to your practice, right? So you give me details, right? So I hope that for tomorrow's question, you are going to give me more details, more uh, specific details. Hey, Normita, yay! The second representative of the girls. Welcome. Bienvenida. You are our second representative of the girl power. I'm Catherine. You're winning. Well, so that, that's my recommendation. So please, for tomorrow, for the question of tomorrow, try to give me details, right? Try to give me details at the moment of answering so we can have a better results every time that we do a new exercise, okay? So that's my recommendation. Esa sería mi recomendación. Give me details, details on the answers. So yesterday, we were talking about what? What was the topic of yesterday? What was the topic of yesterday? Uh -huh. El uso de, de las, de what, where, mm, Okay, what, why, where, why, why oh, exactly like that. Who, so, who, where, what, when, exactly like that. When. So those are the WH questions of uh, with WH, right? WH questions with ING. That's what we were doing. 
And we were practicing the different forms with ING, right? What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, who, is, who is going with you, right? All these things. So we were working with uh, WH questions, right? That's what we were doing yesterday. So in order to start our class today, we are going to work with some pictures. Let me share them with you. Hello, Christian, how are you? Welcome. Isabel, Wendy, Katherine, welcome to your class. And let me share my screen. I have here a picture, right? I have here a picture. And the picture has many different elements. And what I need you to do, what I need you to do is to describe the picture, what is happening on the picture. Check on the picture. Check it very well, right? Because I need you to describe the picture itself, right? You can tell me uh, who are they, what are they doing, what are the specific people on the picture doing, right? So I am going to have you working on this one. You are not going to work alone. You are going to work in couples, okay? Van a trabajar en parejas. And you are going to describe the picture. You are going to tell me what are the different people on the picture doing? What are the different people uh, going through? What is the situation of the picture, okay? And you can also describe the picture in general, right? You can describe the picture in general and you can describe what the people on the picture are doing, okay? So I am going to send you the picture on the group and you are going to work with a couple, right? Van a trabajar con una pareja and you are going to describe the picture. The picture in general and what are the people on the picture doing, okay? So here we go. And I will send the picture on the group. I don't need you to write anything. No necesitan escribir nada, just talk. Talk. What's going on in the picture? You can say, hey, the lady at the back, the boy uh, on the corner, the boy in white, the lady with the white dress, the boy with the with black hair. So you have to describe the picture. What are they doing? What is each person on the picture doing? What are they doing in general? So you can invent anything that you want from the picture. Okay. What I want is to hear different stories. What is happening today in the office? ¿Qué estaba pasando ahora en la oficina? And you are going to tell me the story of the picture. Okay. So, do you have any question about what we are going to do with this? I don't need you to write anything. Okay. No van a escribir nada. I just need you to talk and create. Talk and create a story based on the picture. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Let me see. We are going to have small groups and let me just organize Edwin to be in one group. Okay, here. And I have groups of two or three and that's, that's correct. I think I will have groups of three. There we go. Okay, so one group of two only. And let me see on the chat. Tengo problemas de conexión. No le escuché bien. It says, Jorge, Jorge, you are going to create a story based on the picture, okay? Based on this, you are going to create a story of what is going on in the office today. What is happening on the office? Don't write it. You don't need to write. No tienen que escribirla. Tienen que inventarla, right? You have to, you need to invent the story. What are the people doing? What are they thinking? What are they doing in general? How is the office? What are the objects in the office? You can include all this information, okay? So I am going to send you to work. The picture is on the chat, okay? So you can get ideas, right? Pueden anotar ideas si quieren, but I don't need you to write everything. So you can say, hey, what's going on with the picture? Oh, the man with the beige jacket, is thinking about the beans because he didn't turn it off, right? No apagó los frijoles or something like that. I don't know, you can think about anything. You can invent anything. A short story. And when we come back, we are going to share, okay? 
And let me see if Mr. Komayawa is already in the house. Ya llegó a la casa, Mr. Todavía no. So I will move Isabel. And I will move him here. Okay. Let's go to the rooms and let's invent. Okay. Let's invent what's going on in the picture. I will bring you back in a couple of minutes. Ya me los traigo de vuelta. Just invent. Okay. Go ahead, accept my invitation. There you go. Accept my invitation to go to the groups, please. Thank you. Mr. Mauricio, you can accept the invitation just to uh, be part and listen. Mr. Comayagua, puede aceptar la invitación al menos para escuchar lo que los grupos están creando. Okay. I will send them another option of picture. So they can choose. Viendo ayer con ella. Ah, teacher, yeah. Teacher. Eh, no sé si me equivoco, pero yo entendí como que dijo que íbamos a de, como a armar una historia del por qué ellos estaban celebrando algo así o no okay the the story is about what they are doing what are they doing on the moment what are they doing right now what's happening on the picture okay so you have to describe what is the situation on the picture you can describe each member or the situation in general right you can say they are watching a game, they are uh, watching, I don't know, Marimar, whatever, they are enjoying uh, a TV show, they are uh, having a break, they are eating lunch and they decided to watch TV. So you have to invent what's going on in the picture with the vocabulary that you can do it. Con el vocabulario que pueden hacerlo. The idea is that you can create something, right? Use your imagination to create a story with the picture, okay? Present continuous is the one that you need to use. The lady is thinking about this. The boy is observing the street. The, the man is thinking about uh, work. He is uh, watching the TV. So you can invent about the different people. That's what you are going to do. Okay. Yeah, okay. Then... Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Por eso, entonces trabajaríamos sí. con la primera. Si podemos ponerle nombre, digo yo que mejor va. O sea, lo que ella quiere es ver que desarrollemos lo que nosotros vemos. Exactly like that. Yay. <laughs> It is exactly like that. I want to see your creativity, how creative you are. What are the people doing? You have two options of pictures, right? You can choose any of the two. In the second one, it's fun that they are throwing the kids on the air. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so decide and create. Go ahead. In bueno, English, tiene, for sure. Tiene muy idea, entonces. <laughs> Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Which picture are you going to choose? You have two options. Ah. <laughs> yes, I sent you two options. Hey, what happened to Karen? She disappeared. Creo que tiene problem de connection. Oh my god. 
no apareció más. <risa> ok, good, Edwin, como ya, welcome. He's, he's a listener today. But Waltercito, you can help Ronald. Hello, <laughs> teacher. Eh, todavía voy de camino right. para la casa. Don't worry, don't worry. So, continue. It's good that you are here as a listener. In the office. <laughs> What are they doing in the office? Uh, celebrate a very good day. <laughs> <laughs> they are celebrating a good day. What are they doing? So the idea is not that you create a huge paragraph, but the idea is that you create something that you say like, okay, the lady is doing this, the boy is doing that, the invent, whatever you want to do, right? He is watching the TV, they are celebrating a birthday, they are celebrating, I don't know, they are watching a soccer game, anything that you want to, that you want to invent, okay? So I will go and see how your friends are doing. Hello. Pero como se ve ahí, vemos que está celebrando un serio. Tiene cuatro oh, vasitos. They are drinking something, right? They are drinking something. They are celebrating something. Good observation. Very nice, Jorge. That's what I want. Que sean observativos, que sean creativos, que sean como imaginar qué pasa so, ah, pues, ellos, entonces sería ellos están celebrando en el trabajo algo así sure. eh, es que ahí se ve vaya, hay varias caras, unos contentos otros serios ok, I will give them a couple of minutes for them to finish creating their stories about the picture Porque se ve serio. O oh, Jeremy ¿Quién no is, se... Jeremy is uh, serious. Ajá. Porque está serio. Por... Ajá, serio. Porque está serio. Que, pero... Podría ser que él quería, pues, el ascenso y no se lo dieron. Podría ser. Traducirlo. Pues el problema es traducir lo que, lo que está diciendo. Jeremy is away from the group because he wanted the promotion. Sería lo que Isa está diciendo. Jeremy está alejado del grupo porque quería el ascenso. Ajá, el ascenso. Uh -huh. So you Sería... can say, Jeremy is feeling what? Angry, sad. For you to use the, the, the structure, right? Jeremy is feeling sad, angry, serious. anxious, serious. Serious. Whatever serious. the feeling, right? No se puede, no se, si es feeling, ¿verdad? en vez de keep, que se mantiene serio. He's, no, you can say like, the, he, he's looking serious, right? He's looking serious. Se ve, se ve, parece serio. He's looking serious because, and then you can express. <laughs> and you can say, he's looking serious because he wanted the promotion and he didn't get it. Good idea. Good, Isabel. Very good example. Continue, continue. Thank you. Uh, Edwin anda sacando a Kaiser ahorita. <risa> buena, buena. Bueno, entonces ya tenemos una. Vamos hey. a ver la idea. Eh, ellos están felices ¿Qué viendo. ¿Qué quiere decir en español? Ellos están felices viendo a su jefe, podemos decir. <risa> ah, sí. ¿Qué tal está de reunión con su jefe? Y le está contando un chiste. <risa> Así como entonces, nos alegramos. Entonces, entonces eh, sería: They are very happy saying they boss. They boss. They, uh, say the boss. They are very happy. They, 
Say they, say they both. Say in there. Say in there. What, what do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quieren decir con eso? Ellos, Ellos están, están muy felices. Viendo, viendo a su vida. Ah, looking at. Looking at, his, at their boss. Looking at their boss. Looking at, porque seeing or watching es para otras opciones. Right? In that case, it's looking at porque están juntos y lo están viendo, right? Looking at their boss. Looking at. Continue, continue. Podemos también usar de la otra, ver la otra imagen, ¿verdad? You can, you can choose any of the two. If you want to describe it, choose one. Escojan una para que se enfoquen en una. Okay. Aunque si quieren describir las dos, that's perfect. Entonces, yeah, you can, you have two options, but you can choose the office or the beach. Ah, yeah, okay. it's only one. If you want the two, no problem. It's okay. Okay, I will, I will go and see what they are doing. Voy a ver qué están haciendo los otros. Okay. Okay. Hello, Hello. Ajá. Hello, hello. Perdimos a Mauricio. <laughs> no, it's because he is driving. Yeah, you see, he's coming, he's leaving, he's coming, he's leaving. Él viene manejando todavía. So, he's he's here. <laughs> he's coming back. Ahorita bien. So, which picture are you describing? The office, right? Uh, nos cambiamos a la otra. <laughs> ah, the beach. Okay, good. Uh, it's okay. You have, you still have a little bit of time, okay? So continue. Okay. No le entiendo. También en imagen. También, ¿qué más podemos poner? ¿Qué es esa imagen? ¿Qué se mira atrás? ¿Qué miran ustedes atrás? Como una imagen de un cartel que madre. No, solo no, las otras oficinas. No, no, de, no, de, no atrás de la imagen. Yeah, behind the men, there are some pictures, right? And next to it are the cameras, right? Detrás del caballero se habían unas fotos, pero las que están a la par son Ajá. las cámaras. Si no, te hiciera esa foto como que es un extraterrestre. <laughs> Which one? No, it's están maybe... Hundiéndose. It's a, it's a quality. It's uh, okay. spiders. Spiders. Uh, this is... Spider, Inspired. I-N-S-P-I-R. Expiring. Inspire. Inspire. What do you want to say? I-N-S-P-I-R-E. Uh, what, what do you want to say? Spike. ¿Qué quieren decir? Mejor que alguna mole. Mejor que lo... Es el cuadro ahí de la, de la imagen. Ah, inspire. It says inspire. Inspire. Pero atrás de ellos tenemos una, un, ¿cómo se llama? Donde están una, unos libros, sería... A bookshelf. A bookshelf. Uh -huh. Inspire, it says the picture. Okay, hurry up. We still have a couple of minutes. Dieguito, are you still on the way home? ¿Todavía vas de camino a casa, Diego? Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, Diego. Don't worry, don't worry. No te preocupes. En el que enciende la computadora. Lo que podemos poner que todos están viendo la todos están viendo la computadora. La computadora. All of them. 
no, no, porque, no, porque estaba una otro. distraída que le pusimos. <risa> You have one minute to finish, one minute. So please set up your stories and we are going to come back to the main room in one minute. Okay, let's share the pictures and we're going to bring students back from the main session. I mean, to the main session, sorry. No nos dio tiempo ya. Ok, there was no more time. It's like, no, ya no nos dio tiempo. No, ya no le di tiempo. <laughs> it was over. It was just, uh, it was just uh, a little time for you to have the chance to actually think and invent what is going on on the picture. I have different groups. I have four different groups. And I will have different people participating. From the group of Edwin Ernesto, Luis Parrilla, Victor Manuel, and Janira Isabel, who is going to explain the picture? Teacher, solo hicimos tres. It's okay, it's okay. But okay. who is going to explain it? Who is going to explain the picture? ¿Quién la va a explicar? ¿Podemos explicar una cada uno? Yeah, you can do it, it's okay. ¿Cómo se yo? Ok, pónganos la foto ahí, por favor, para que los compañeros no, nos entiendan. The office or the... The office, please. Ok, let me share the office with you. Okay. And here, ok. We have the office now. I have it. And here we go. Action, go ahead. Mm. Bueno, nosotros le pusimos nombre, teacher. Go ahead, perfect. Le, le pusimos Jeremy and look as serious because he didn't get a promotion. The promotion. Uh -huh. This is Jeremy, I guess. Jeremy, yes. Jeremy, okay. Jeremy. Vaya, Melissa, ¿quién sigue con Melissa? Luis. Luis. Adelante. La segunda o la tercera. La segunda. La segunda, la de la chica. The second one, the second one. Ok. Melissa is. Melissa raises your arm because she celebrates the victory. Ok. Melissa is raising her arm because she's celebrating the victory. Ok. This is Melissa, right? The one with yeah. the arm up. Ok. George is excited for your promotion. George, es which is George? George el que está sentado frente a la computer. This one. George is excited about his promotion right 
his promotion because he is the one about the promotion. If not, I am the one with the promotion, right? If you say he is excited about your promotion, it's because I won the place. Okay, good. That's very good. Thank you. Nice explanation about the office. Excellent job. Let's see. Let's go with group number two. Christian, Norma, and Wendy Beatriz. This picture or the other one? Go ahead. They are celebrating Chris's birthday. Oh, they are celebrating his birthday. Uh huh. He's looking at something, something he does not like. Okay. They are having fun. Having fun. They are having fun. Very good. Anything else? That was it. Uh -huh. Go. They are they are getting distracted at work. <laughs> they are getting distracted at work. Yes. <laughs> El gordito se llama David. Le puse nombre. Tío. This one, <laughs> David. <laughs> David is clapping. He's clapping. Very good. Um, they well, they are they are watching watching football. They are watching a football game. Good, very good. Someone else? Um, the girls are smiling. The girls are smiling, right? The girls are smiling. All of them are smiling, right? Good, very good. Um, this is all. <laughs> That's all. And Normita? Eh, yo solo hice dos. It's okay. La primera es, they are drinking juice. They are drinking juice, okay. They are drinking juice. El otro es, he is serious looking at his friends. He is serious looking at his friends, right? Hmm, he's angry because he didn't get the promotion. That's why. He, he didn't get what he wanted. Very good job. Very good descriptions. Nice job, group. Nice job. Very good job. So let's go with the next group. Karen, Ronald, and Walter. No, so, pues igual creo que tres partes son las de nosotros. It's okay. No sé si... Hay que, vaya, nosotros lo hicimos así como... Como, como un párrafo. Un, ajá, un, un pequeño párrafo, una postal, digamos. Con ok, la... good, very good. Entonces, y... Bueno, lo voy a leer. Y le... Imagínense que es atrás de, de la postal. Es, On vacation, <laughs> the world family go to the beach. Ah, okay. So it's the other picture. It's this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Esa. Uh, On vacation, the world family goes to the beach. The kids play in the sun while the parents swing on the beach. It's girl fun. I love the holiday day. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. That was the picture, right? The picture, the picture of the postcard. That was very nice. Do you have any extra information? That's it. Walter, do you have something else? Or that, that's it. It's okay. Perfect. Very good job, right? The kids are having fun and the parents are playing, are swimming on the beach. Nice, right? Good idea of the postcard. Very good idea. I, I feel happy as well. Don't worry. Yeah. It's okay. Let's go with the next group. We have a, let me see. Jorge, Carla, and Catherine. Bueno, teacher, vamos a decir un y una todo. It's okay. Empieza, diga Jorge. Jorge begins, you say. Jorge begins. No more Spanish. Jorge begins. Go ahead. Jorge. Mr. Jorge. Your microphone, sweetie. Tu micrófono, no tengo nada. Sorry, okay. Colleagues, award. Um, 
they are a meeting awards. There is a very happy calling. Okay, they are very happy. They are having uh, a meeting at work. Uh huh. Most of them are watching the computer. Okay, all of them are watching the computer. Very good. Mm, and Maria is drinking water. Maria is drinking water, crazy water. <laughs> okay, very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much for your ideas. It is something small, right? You might say like, hey, teacher, but that's a very small game, right? Yes, but it is important because you invent and you create and you say, hey, I am inventing things. I am thinking far from what it is normal, right? You can do it with any picture. Así pueden agarrar cualquier foto. Si van en la calle y ven una en la calle, así como, ah, she is doing that, he is doing this. And you can invent what's going on in the picture. Okay, oh, you see Don Pollo, ah, they are eating chicken. Mm, that's very good. They are very delicious. So invent, right? Use your ideas for you to become more creative, right? Very good exercise. I really enjoy it, right? Because... What is the quote of the day? What is the quote of the day? Can you help me to read it? If you never try, you never know. If you never try, you never know. What was your reaction when I told you that you have to create a story? Ooh, teacher, a story, really? Oh my God. You never try if you never know. No, teacher, I can't speak English, teacher. No, that's very difficult, teacher. You have to try, right? If you never try, you never know. What is the meaning of this? Si when... nunca lo intentas, nunca sabrás. Exactly like that. If you never try, you will never know. And it takes me back every single time to when you sign the paper, right? ¿Se acuerdan cuando firmaron el papel para meterse a este curso? I know, it's very difficult. English is very difficult. The time, I know, I know. But if you never try, you never know. If you never uh, practice, you will never know how good you can become. So please continue trying and continue practicing because that is going to help you a lot. So I have a couple of friends today and some of you might know them. And I have four of them. Well, five. I have a very good friend of mine that they are the tongue twisters. I brought some friends that are going to help you improve your tongue and your fluency. That they might look very crazy, right? They might look crazy, but they are very useful. And you might say, I teacher, no, I cannot do it. Not even in Spanish, but they are nice, right? And, yeah, but you will see. Pick up, pick up, pick up. No, say Peter Peeper. Peter Peeper. Peter Peeper. Pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Peeper pick. If Peter Peeper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where are the pickled peppers Peter Peeper pick? There you go. <laughs> Some of you know them already, right? <laughs> Yo la lengua dos veces. Diego. Ajá. Diego. Ya, lo puedes decir. Oh, no. Ready? No, pues, no. I said, Diego is ready. I said, ya Diego está listo. De... <laughs> so, in this one. Hago nuestra lengua de español. Ya me dio. Ah. You, you see, wait, 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 wait. If you never try. You never know, right? I always bring you back to the quote of the day. So you say, sure. Peter Peeper. Peeper is the last name of Peter, right? Peter Peeper, pick a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Peeper, pick a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> Peter Peeper, pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Peeper, pick. Practice that first paragraph. Practiquen ese primer paragraph. Peter Peeper, pick a peck of pickled peppers. 
Peter Pepper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Pepper pick. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Pepper pick. Nice, Ronald. You did your homework. If Peter Pepper pick a pack of pickled peppers. If Peter Pepper pick a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> pick it a pack? No, say pick a pack. Pick a pack. Pick a pack. Pico, 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 <laughs> oh, wow. yeah My, that makes two of us right practice with me peter peeper that's a name peter peeper peter peeper peter peeper pick a peck pick a peck pick a peck of pickle peppers of pickle peppers a peck of pickle peppers a pack of pickled peppers. Pickled. 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 A pack of pickled peppers. Peter. A pack of pickled peppers. I need to record the reactions of students. Oh my God. Pickled peppers. Cada vez que saco este, este warm-up, tengo que grabar las reacciones de los estudiantes. But Jorge, it's the top one today. He's like, no. Okay. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where are the pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? Okay. I need you to practice. Okay. Practice. I will silent everybody. Lo voy a silenciar a todos para que no se interrumpan entre ustedes. So practice. Practice with the microphone off, okay? Go ahead. So you say, Peter, Peeper, pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled Sorry. <laughs> Go back. Peter, Peeper, pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter, Peeper, pick. If Peter, Peeper, pick a pack of pickled peppers, where are the pickled peppers, Peter, Peeper, pick? Practice, 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 practice. Hell, go ahead. Peter Peeper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Peeper pick. If Peter Peeper pick a pack of pickled peppers, what are the pickled peppers Peter Peeper pick? If you are ready, raise your hand and say, Yo ya puedo, teacher. Go ahead. Uh huh. <laughs> Carla Patris. <laughs> Come on. Hi, right, people, you are so creative. Uh -huh. Who's ready? Quien está listo ya? Uh -huh. Raise your hand and tell me, me, teacher, I can do it. Carla ya está lista. Come on. Uh -huh. Tirar a otros al lago es mi pasión. Walter, maña. Ahí páselo. No, it's volunteer. It's volunteer. Who's ready? Teacher, I try. Okay. Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. Echale Let's go, everybody. <laughs> go, Edwin, Edwin. Pongame la musiquita, pues. Chan, chan, chan. There you go. One, two, three. Wait until I try. Go. Peter Piper picked a picket of the Turk. A picket of the Piper Piper Peter Piper picked a if Peter Piper pick a pick of the pickled pepper, where are the pickled pepper? Peter Piper pick it. So yeah, el creador del trabalenguas. <laughs> I try, teacher. Okay, good, good job, good job. You try, you try. Practice, please, practice. Christian, go ahead. The microphone switch. Voy a intentar. Oh. <clears throat> Peter Piper, Peter Piper, pick a cup of pick a Piper, a pack of pick a Piper, Peter Piper, pick a. If Peter Piper pick a cup of pick a 
Piper. Where are the Picker Piper Peter? Peter Piper Picket. I love the new versions of this. You are improving. <laughs> Twister. Listen, Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, what are the pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? Almost, almost. I, I made it. It's difficult. And I said it's slow. Okay, Peter Piper. You say picked. Pick a pack. That's pronunciation. Of pickled peppers. Okay, and then you just repeat the same, right? Si se aprenden la primera frase, se aprenden las demás. Because they are just repeated words. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. And you are just repeating, okay? Any other volunteer? Who, who, who? Volunteers, volunteers. Five, four, three, two. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> yeah, y si llego a cero, yo lo escojo. Karen, go ahead. Peter Piper. Peter Piper, pick a pack of pickled peepers. A pick of pick. Uh, <laughs> okay, aquí no ha pasado nada. Uh, uh, pe peppers, peppers, uh, peppers. Aquí no ha pasado nada. Karencita, go ahead, go ahead. Again, 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 again. Uh, Peter Pickett. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where are the pickled peppers Peter Piper Pickett? Picked, 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 peppers, peppers, uh, not peepers, right? So you say peppers, peppers, peppers. Okay, go with me, please. Everybody, can you open your microphone? Todos, abran el micrófono. Go ahead, open your microphone. Vamos a tragar. Vamos, sin miedo. Okay, Peter, Peter, pick. Okay, no, pick it, no, 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 listen, follow instructions, okay, follow instructions, what was my instruction, listen, and when I say repeat, you repeat, okay, the pronunciation is picked, Peter, Peter, picked, Peter, 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 Peter Piper pick a peck off. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. Peepers, no, peppers. Peter Peeper pick a pack of pickled peppers. There you go, you have the first one. A pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pick. Okay, desde el principio. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. Okay, le voy a poner penitencia aquí con esto, eh. <laughs> Esto no dice, aquí no dice pepper, aquí dice pepper, pepper, pepper. pickle, pickle, pepper, peck, okay, good, si no, línea le voy a poner, if Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers, where are the pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Okay, I know it's complicated, but if you never try, you never know, right? I cannot, well, teacher, you have never tried? Go ahead. Okay, lo voy a silenciar otra vez. En practice, alone, practiquen solos. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, necesito verlos practicando. I need to see your practice in. 
Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All the cameras are on. I need to see you practicing, practicing. And the order is going to be the following. Diego is number one. Isabel is number two. Catherine is number three. And Jorge is number four. Practice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Diego, go ahead. The microphone, Diego. Yo no me lo puedo. Yo voy a decir lo que pueda nada más. If you never try, you never know. Go ahead. Peter, Peter, Peter. A peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter, pepper, pick. If Peter, pepper, pick a peck of pickled pepper. Where are the pickled peppers? Peter, pepper, pick. Perfect. I cannot do it, teacher. Ah, ah. It was perfect. Very good job, Diego. Reaction for Diego. Very good. Very good job. Reactions for Diego. Number two, Isabel. Ay, profe, pero bueno, vamos a ver. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. No you can do saber. it. You can do it. You go ahead. If you never try, you never know. Go ahead. Peter, Piper, pick, it, pick a pepper. Oh, no. Sorry. Continue. Peter, Peter, Peeper pick a peck of picket a pick a, a peck of pick Peter Peter pick pick if Peter peep pick a peck of pick paper where are the pick pepper Peter peep paper pick I was in good job you did you did your best right para que trabarle la lengua sea la pasión de la vida, you did a very good job. But remember, right? The problem is that we don't read complete sentences, right? No comemos letras todavía. So in this case, it's like peeper, Peter peeper, right? And this one, peppers, right? Pickle peppers, pickle peppers. Where are the pickle peppers? Peter peeper pick. Number three, Catherine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't tell me. I will try. No, I said I will try. I will try. Voy a intentarlo. I will try. I go ahead. Go ahead. Pide pipe. Pide a pet. Oh, pide pickle. Pide pickle. Pide pipe a pet. Pipe a pet. Oh, pick pepper. A pet. Pet. <laughs> continue, pearl, continue. Pearl, pepper, pick. If pet, pearl, pepper. Peter, Peter. Peter, pepper, pick. A pet of peer, pepper. Where are the pepper, 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 pepper? Continue practicing. Continue practicing. Good job. Good job, Catherine. You did a good effort, right? You did a good effort. Continue practicing, ¿ok? Aquí nos damos cuenta de cuáles son nuestras limitantes, cuáles son nuestras debilidades, cuáles son las que tenemos que trabajar más. Fluency, pronunciation, the tongue, right? That's what we need to work. Mr. Jorge, you can do it. Go, go, go. Jorge. Peter Piper. Peter Piper pick a pet of pickle pepper. Pepper, perdón. A pig of pico, pepper, Peter, pepper, picket, if Peter, pepper, picket, a peg of pico, pepper, paper. Pepper. We are the pick, paper, Peter, pepper, picket. Very, very good job. You see, even when you say like, no, teacher, no, it was good. So this is for today. Check. I will send it to you, right? I will send the pictures. The one for tomorrow, the one for Thursday, the one for Friday, <laughs> and the extra one for Saturday. 
So for tomorrow, we have the wish sound, the W sound, wish. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the I witch wish wishes, wish. I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. <laughs> it's a, a a little, it is it's easier, easier, right? Easy, very easy. No? This is easy, right? Yes, Isabel? Que el jueves también nos van a dar clases, no se los van a dar libre. No, we're, we're having classes. <laughs> no estoy so llorando, tú bien. estás llorando. <laughs> No, I am happy. What is the best way to celebrate Teacher's Day? Teaching. So for me, it's the best way to teach. I'm not crying. You are crying. Ustedes están llorando, you know. Okay. Now, I, I, it's, it's good. We're going to be here. So there you go. This is this is the easiest one. This is más fácil de todos. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cookies could. That's the easiest. This is the most complicated one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. So <laughs> that is, yeah, but this is, this is, this is nice. Betty butter bought some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. If I put my butter, I will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter, that will make my butter better. Easy. Easy. <laughs> That's for Saturday. <laughs> That's the extra one. So my dear students, I hope that you have had a lot of fun on this practice as much as I had preparing the class, right? Tanto como yo me divertí preparándola for you. It's nice, right? We are going to study today want and would, right? These ones are for you to ask for things when you want to ask for requests, when you want to tell people about the things that you need in your life. What is the informal form and would is the formal version, right? That you say like, I want to travel. Mm, I would like to travel. It's different, right? It sounds better, right? I want you to help me. I would like you to help me. It sounds better, right? This is normal and this is more polite. What is the meaning of polite? Más amable. This is better, right? Es diferente que yo le digo. I want you to come. Quiero que vengas. Even in Spanish, it's like, okay, I'm going. And if I say, I would like you to come. Me encantaría que vinieras. Okay, me encantaría que vinieras aquí. Para pegarte un cinchazo, diría mi madre. <laughs> Your mother was like, Vení para acá. I would like you to come, right? ¿Cuántos no hubiéramos ido de chiquitos? Ay, <laughs> Want and would. That's the difference. Want is the normal form, the normal version. It's a little bit informal. And would is the formal version of this structure. So here we have what we have been doing. What is would you like? Who can help me with the definition of would you like? Who can help me to read the definition? Only one, only one volunteer. Karencita, thank you very much. Um, would well, you like? We use what well, you like to offer something or to Im invite. invite invite somebody to do something. What well, you like? Do you want? Exactly, right? Would you like means do you want? Imagine if I have some coffee, right? And if I say, would you like some coffee? It's the same if I ask you, do you want some coffee? Right, it's the same, but it sounds a little bit better when you say, would you like? Gustarías un poco de café? It's like, ¿quieres café? <laughs> it's different, right? So it sounds better. I have here the first example. Mr. Edwin Gallegos, can you help me to read the first example? Chin, 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 chin. <laughs> would you like, would, would, would. Would you like some cake? What is the meaning you, of this? Do you want some cake? 
do you want some cake, right? Diego, can you give me the next example? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? What is the meaning of this? Would you want some coffee? Do you want some coffee, right? Do you want some coffee? It is the same meaning, right? It means the same, but this is a little bit better, right? The next one, Mr. Luis Parrilla, can you help me with this one? Would you like to go to cinema? Would you like to go to the cinema? Would you like to go to the cinema? What is the meaning of this? To go to cinema. Do you want to go to the cinema? And the last one, the last one that we have here, Catherine, can you help me to read it? Where, where would you like to, to go? Where would you like to go? What would be the meaning for this one? Where would you like to go? If you make it like this. Como donde te gustaría ir. Aha, but how would you transform it using want? Donde quieres ir? Yeah, but in, in English, in English. Where? 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 Where, where, where do you want? Where do you want? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, right? Where do you want to go? And imagine that you have something, that you have something right there. Imagine, do you have something to eat right there? Tienen algo de comer a la mano? Algo, alguna bebida, algo? Water. No? Water. Okay. How can you... Okay, it's okay. How would you offer it to me? ¿Cómo me lo ofrecerían? Como ya estamos en febrero, ah, no, mentira. Uh -huh. Where do you where like? Do you like some where, do, where do you like? Mm. Would you like? Would you like bread? Would you like some bread? Water. Like some water. Would you like some water? Right? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like some water? There you go, right? Would you like, uh, I don't have anything else to eat. <laughs> my God. Would you like to use my cell phone? That's a question, right? <laughs> yes, yes, they say. <laughs> there you go. To use, not to check, to use, okay? You can use it to take pictures or to check on Google, whatever. It's different. If you say, would you like to check my cell phone? Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. Oh my God, what teacher. <laughs> what is this? Teacher. Juan Mechanical. Teacher. What is the picture? <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is fun. Today in the morning, I was checking on the pictures, and I have a lot of pictures of a screenshots, a lot of pictures of the progress of the of the platform and I say, oh, what a boring gallery, I said. Que galería más aburrida. Mm. <laughs> there are many pictures of this, of these things from the classes that I said like, I need a little bit of life, I said. So tell me something that you have in your refrigerator. What would you offer me from your refrigerator? What would you offer me from your refrigerator? Would you like some you like juice? Some juice, good. Would you like some juice? Excellent. Another thing? Would you like some apples? Would you like some? Apple. Teacher, some would apple. you like some charamuca? Yes, I love them. What type of charamuca do you have? Milk? Coffee? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> De qué son? De Michela. De agua. ¿Eh? No, nunca nadie las ha vendido. Sí. Entrepreneurship, emprendedurismo social. ¿Tú sí? Gracias a Tichen Nati que me dio esta idea, he salido aquí. Hoy tengo tres Hilux. Send me one, ¿ok? Si ponen su negocio de charamuscas de michelada, me mandan los dividendos. <laughs> a lot of people in the colonia and buying them. 
true. Of piña colada. I will buy them. They are really delicious. Well, what else do you have in the refrigerator? Do you have cake, ice cream, choco banano? No? Ice cream. Ice cream. Do you have chocolate in your refrigerator? Tomato. Tomatoes. Hey, Diego has chocolates in your in his refrigerator. Tomatoes. Yeah, to make a chimol, maybe. Cheese. Do you have do you have soda in your refrigerator? Ow. Ice water. water. <laughs> okay, juice. Isabel has juice for everybody. Good. <clears throat> So, if we arrive right now to your house, imagínese que llegamos ahorita a su casa. What will you offer? What will you offer to, to people? What would you would offer? Like, like some water. Would you like some water? Good. What else would you offer? Like coffee. What do you like coffee with milk? Would you like some coffee with milk? Very good. What else? Would you like, would you like some plum? Hey, would you, Elias, always, always, very good. Would you like some flan? I love flan. I think that's my favorite dessert. De todos los postres del mundo, that's my favorite. Flan, it's very delicious. Okay, so <laughs> would you like to leave? So that's, that's an offering, right? That's an offering. Very good job, right? On the offers. This topic, it's not really complicated. You just need to think and organize the sentence in a very good way. In the case of I would like, I would like is the contraction. <laughs> I would like, this one means I would like. Okay, I would like. That's the meaning of this. I would like to talk about something that we want. Okay, we use it to talk about something that we want. And, okay, there you go. Sorry, okay, I, I need your attention. Or something that we want to do, right? We use, I would like to say something that you want, okay? That would be for you to tell someone else. Eso es para que ustedes lo digan. Lo, esto es para que ustedes pregunten, right? Would you like some water? Would you like some cake? Would you like some chocolate? Would you like a churrito? Would you like a uh, charamusca? Would you like some soda, right? And for the answer, you say, I would like, I would like. I would like some water, please. I would like some coffee. I would like some... Uh, some pupusas, I would like some tamales, I would like some chicken, I would like whatever, right? I would like. The contraction, it's like, I would like. I would like, okay? I would like. Or if not, you say, I would like. I would like. I would like some water, please. It means I want some water. I would like more information about this product. When you call someone and you say, hello, Tigo, blah, 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 blah. This is the package that I want. I would like some more information, okay? I would like to go to the zoo, okay? I want to go to the zoo. I would like to go to the beach on Saturday. I would like to go to the mountains. I would like to go to the, to the Juegos Centroamericanos on Friday. I would like to, okay? And the last one, I would like to have a lemonade. If you are in a restaurant, okay, imagine that you are in a restaurant right now. Don't enter a mi restaurante. Okay, welcome to Nati's restaurant. It's a pleasure to welcome you. And I am going to take your order. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Mr. Ronald, Ronald va a ser el primero en pedir. I would like to eat. I would like pupusas. Anything to drink? What would you like to drink? Lemon. So you say, I would like to have. I would like, I would like to have lemon. Lemonade. Very good. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, done. Three Thank pupusas, you very much. Por Three pupusas. Okay. Mr. What is your name? Jorge. Okay. You have a Jorge face. That's why. What would you like to eat? I do like some um, chicken. Some chicken, okay. And to drink? Uh, coffee with me. I would like 
I'd like uh, coffee with me. Coffee with milk. Okay. Please. Thank you very much. Please. That's the top word for this structure. Please. Mr. Diego, what would you like to eat? I would like bread with garlic. A garlic bread. Garlic bread. <laughs> Garlic bread. I would like garlic bread. Okay, garlic yes. bread. And to drink? Uh, I would like uh, michelada, please. I would like a michelada. Yes, uh -huh. I don't like them, but you <laughs> see, I would like a michelada, please. There you go. Mr. Luis Parrilla, what would you like to eat? We have everything in this restaurant. Everything. I would like some meat some meat okay meat and to drink and drink i would like to have um orange juice i would like to have an orange juice very good mr christian what are you going to eat what would you like to eat i would like pizza i would like pizza very good and to drink i i would like Soda, Coca -Cola. I would like I would like a Coke, right? I would like a Coke, please. Mr. Walter, what would you like to eat? Um, I would like I would like salad. Salad. Fun. Salad. And to drink? Um, <laughs> lemonade. Lemonade. Good. Salad Lem and lemonade. Very good. Miss Isabel, what would you like to eat? I would like fish and juice. Fish and juice. Nice combination. Watermelon. And watermelon juice. Okay, fish and juice. Okay, como en el puerto. Catherine Rosibel, what would you like to eat? I do like chicken. Chicken. And to drink? Um, coffee. I would like coffee. Okay, like good. Coffee. Norma and then Victor. Norma. What would you like I to would, eat? I would like some sandwich. Some sandwiches. Okay, sandwiches. Nice. I have club sandwiches. And to drink? I would like to have coffee. Coffee. Very good job. Mr. Victor. I... I would like some ice cream. Some ice cream. Hey, nice desserts. And to drink? Uh, I would like a soda. A soda. Very good job. Edwin Mauricio, what would you like to eat? I would like shrimp. Shrimp. Nice. Shrimp. Shrimps. And to drink? I would like lemonade. Lemonade, very good job. Carla Patricia, and then Edwin Ernesto. I would like barbecue. Barbecue, nice. I would drink. like juice, orange. Orange juice, very good. Edwin? Uh, I would like some tacos. Tacos, uh -huh. I would like drink Coca-Cola. Okay. Um, uh, please, I would like uh, juice orange. An orange juice, right? An orange juice. orange juice. Very good. Karencita Blanco and then Wendy Beatriz. I, I would like um, fish. Fish? And I would like Coke. A Coke, right? Fish and a, a Coke. Coke. And Wendy? I would like spaghetti. A spaghetti and? To drink, and I would like ice water. Ice water, very healthy. Okay, so there you go. You can survive in a restaurant. If you go to a restaurant in another country, you can survive now. Okay, I want, I would like this, I would like that, I would like this other. And to drink, I would like this. And for dessert, I want cake. Okay, I would like cake. I would like. Good job. The next one. The use of like, how do you use it like this? This is to express things 
that you consider nice. So you say, we use like for things and for people. And to say what we think about these things or how you think people are nice or good. So you say, I like coffee because you think that coffee is very good, right? I like coffee. Me gusta el café. And you can say, I like John because I think he is nice, okay? In English, it's not like, ah, I like John. And you say, mm. no, I think he's a good person, right? En español, si usted le dice, ay, a mí me gusta eh, Pepito. Mm, you're going to get married, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, it's not like that. No, you Yeah, it's, it's not that you like it because he's a nice person, right? I think John is nice. We use like with ing to say that we enjoy doing something, right? When we want to say that we enjoy doing something, we use like and ing. So you say, I like dancing, I like cooking, I like traveling, I like working, I like teaching. Like and ing to express that you like something. Tell me something that you like. Mr. Diego, what is something that you like? Repeat, please. What is something that you like? Something. Using the structure that we have here, like plus ing. I like what? I like playing. I like, I like playing video games, right? I like playing video games. What else? Give me another volunteer to tell me something that you like. I like go, going to the beach. I like going to the beach. I like going to the beach. beach. Good. Another example. Mr. Christian, what do you like to do? Mm. I like, um, I like playing in the pool. Playing? In the pool. Okay, playing. I didn't get the word correctly, but playing the computer, I'm going to say. Para ponerle, <laughs> playing, playing soccer. Okay, that can be another example. Jorge, what do you like? I like uh, watching videos. I like watching videos. Very good example, right? So this is the way we use like with ing, right? I like cooking. I like dancing. I like playing. I like reading, right? That's what you like, right? And in this one, I like going to the cinema. I enjoy going to the cinema, right? It's something that I really enjoy. And we use do in questions with like. If you want to make a question with like, you use do. Do you like coffee? Do you like uh, traveling? Do you like swimming? Do you like going to the cinema? Ask me a question with do you like? Teacher, do you like what? Teacher, Ask do you like uh, ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Uh -huh. Pero ¿Qué acción con ice cream? Do you like eating? Do you like do you, do you like eating ice cream? Eating ice cream? Yes, I like it. It's not my favorite thing, but I like it, right? No me gusta mucho, pero I, I, I enjoy it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you like cleaning the house? In some cases, when I have time, yes. If I don't have time, no. Si no, mm -hmm. si no tengo tiempo, solo va a ser una media bola. No, I don't like it. If I have time, yes. To put some Pandora music. <laughs> Temerario music there to clean the house. <laughs> Good question. Another question. Like... Okay, Isabel and then Wendy's. Do you like eating fish? I love eating fried fish. Fried fish. Bien frito. Casi tostado. I love it. I love okay. eating fried delicious. fish. <laughs> it's very delicious. Wendy? Uh, do you like dancing? Do you like dancing? 
I love dancing. I love dancing. I dance everything. Everything. Esto lo anuncio de la tele. Hay una iglesia aquí cerca. I dance that one too. Karen, go ahead. Teacher, do you like going to the beach? I love going to the beach. That's one of my favorite things. Okay, si viviera en la playa, quizás solo llegara y me tirara a la playa. <laughs> but I don't do it. Yeah, I love the beach. Carla Patricia? Do you like eating pupusa? Ah, yeah, I love eating, cooking, making, preparing, buying, all these things. I love pupusas. Normita? Teacher, do you like watching TikTok? I love watching TikTok. <laughs> I don't have time. I wish I had more time, right? Quisiera tener más tiempo para ver más. But I, I don't, I, I enjoy it. I like it. Mr. Luis Parrilla. Okay. Teacher, do you like um, cooking? In the lunch. Cooking lunch. When I have time, yes. I am never at home for lunch. Yo nunca no, estoy en la no. casa. No. <laughs> but on, on Wednesdays, I love to cook lunch. Los miércoles sí me gusta cocinar el almuerzo. Because I am here. And on Sundays, I like. It. Thank you. Mr. Ronald. Did you like watching now? Watching novels, uh, well, soap operas, soap operas, because novels are the ones on the books, right? Las novelas son como las de ah, Agatha yeah. Christie and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Soap operas, maybe the old ones, la viejita, la de <laughs> But these quinceañera. ones, are, yeah, no, no, I didn't watch quinceañera. And maybe like Marimar and all these things. <laughs> I like them. La pasión de Gabriel. La pasión de Gabriel. But these ones like of, of narcos and stuff like that, I, I don't like those, right? Capítulo 3400 y nunca se acaba. It's like, pa, 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 pa. It's like, I know, I don't like those. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like it, Ronald. The old ones. Mr. Jorge and Walter is the last one. And Victor is the last one. Go ahead, Jorge. Teacher Nati, do you like working at home? I love working at home. It's beautiful. I love it because you have your office here. You have everything here. You don't have traffic. You don't have anything. You don't have noise. It's beautiful. I love it. I love the quarantine. Yo creo que la cuarentena fue mi etapa favorita de la vida. It was beautiful to be at home. And nice question. Walter? Teacher, do you like going to the movies? I love going to the movies. But I think it's very expensive. Yo creo que a veces es como muy caro. It's like, hay pa palomita, 30 dólares. <laughs> <Como, laughs> palomita que de entrada. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because the other day when I went to watch Mario Bros, the ticket was $2.50, right? And I said like, yay, nice. But the, the combo the, with the hot dog and the popcorn, whatever, $15. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> no, imagine. So and my son was like, I want soda and popcorn and this and that. And I was like, no, you don't want this. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was uh, it was a nice experience. I think the movies are nice. And it is exactly the same. Así como lo ven aquí, es en, en otros lados, en Washington, en Idaho, en Arkansas, todo, the movies is the same. You don't, it doesn't change. It's beautiful. Victor Manuel, question. Do you like the scary movie? A scary movies? No, I don't like them. That's the only thing that I don't like. I am very bad at scary movies. Very bad. Yeah, I, I, my husband hates it because I said like, ve, un monstruo, ve, lo van a matar. Ah, sangre, ah, lo mataron. Oh, mira, me... So he hates that. <laughs> And I do it because I, I feel scared, right? Después ni apagar la luz quiero, pero it's like, I don't like the horror movies. I am not good at that. Tengo problemas de internet. Me está sacando constantemente, says Edwin. Oh my God, Edwin, my goodness. 
Good memes on the chat. That was beautiful. So that's a question. That's a question. The uh, students, do you like studying English? In English corporativo? Yes, yes, I like Yes, I do, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I yes, like I it. Do you like practicing English during the day? <laughs> Diego? <laughs> that's a question for Diego. Do you like to practice with the audience, Diego? Mm, yes. Yes, just that I like it. <laughs> no, it's good. I love that Diego is very pendant of that. Siempre es como de los primeritos que se ponen buzo ahí. So, like versus would like. What is the difference in this one? We have to compare the sentences. So like, I like tea. I think the tea is good. I would like some tea. It says that you want some. It is not the same, right? I like tea, please. Ah, okay, good. I would like some tea. Si ustedes solo me dicen, I like tea, yo le voy a decir, ah, qué chévere, me también. I like tea, but I'm not going to give you anything. No me esperen como no pasa. <laughs> I like tea. No, like, I would like some tea. It's different because in that case, they, oh, okay, and I will bring you some and I will say, here you have. Drink son las indirectas que dicen las mujeres. No se dan a entender. Yeah, so imagine if I say like, I like Diego. Ajá. What else? She doesn't say, I would like to be your girlfriend. That's not what they say. And you are like waiting forever, right? Diego esperando la muerte. And she never says anything, right? Do you like tea? ¿Te gusta el té? Imagine if the lady says, do you like me? Uh-huh. Nice. <laughs> and she's going to be like, y por eso nunca nos casamos, fíjate, hijo. <laughs> Conocí un muchacho Diego. <laughs> One day, do you like me? And said, like, yeah, you are a very good person. And that would be like, ah, uh, yeah, nunca me dijo nada. Would you like, would you like some tea? It's different. It is different if I say, do you like tea? It's like, ¿te gusta el té? Sí, me gusta. Ah, que me alegra. <laughs> I am not offering you anything. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Yes, because I am coming with the thing, right, for you. Would you like some tea? ¿Quieres un poco? Do you want some? That's different, right? You have to follow the instructions, right? You have to follow the different things, right? And with the ladies, Diego, you have to go straight, right? Consejo de mujer, dígale de una vez lo que quiere. And it, it's, yeah. she's going to say yes or no. Tomar en cuenta. Yeah, it's not like, es que mira, que te quería preguntar, que mira qué bonita la noche, vea. No, nothing, no, just go straight. Do you want to go okay. out with me? Yes or no? Al grano. Yes. Would you like to go out with me? Salir conmigo, querés salir conmigo? Would you like to go to a restaurant? Yes. And the trick, right? Si quieres saber. Y me mandan a la friendzone. Vos, pues, al menos ya sabes que ahí nada, vea. No le diga qué querés comer. Decía, ay, a mí se me antoja una hamburguesa, decía. Y ella te va a decir, ay, no, a mí unos tacos. Ah, then you take her to take some tacos. I mean, it's easy. Right, it's easy. But if you say, what do you want to eat? I don't know. You decide. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want. What would you like? Give two options. Siempre le de, dele dos opciones. Would you like hamburgers or pizza? Tacos, she's going to say. <laughs> and she's going to give you the third option, right? So the last, uh, exercise that we have here, the last example, like with ing and would like with infinitive, right? Would like to, that's the difference. You use it with, when you say would like, you use an infinitive form, right? I would like to eat, to cook, to go, right? And I like with ing, I like going, I would like to go, okay? Si usamos I would like, usamos un infinitivo. Con like podemos usar ing, okay? Do you like going to the cinema? 
That's the question. Do you like to go? Do you like going to the cinema? And would you like to go to the cinema? If you have would you, you have an infinitive form. Okay. You cannot say, would you like to go in? That's incorrect. No. Would you like going to the cinema? No, it's not correct. Would you like to go? Do you like going? Okay. You can use it in the two forms for you not to get confused. Okay. So we have some examples here. I have one example with want, and I want you to transform this example with would. For example, I want some coffee. I would like some coffee. Do you want some coffee? Would you like some coffee? Okay. You are going to transform the sentences into would. Okay. Let's do the first five examples together. Here you go. Okay, we have the first five examples together. I want to go out tonight. Would you... Thank you. Hello. Hi, this is Nati. Luis is in class right now. I want to go out tonight. Y mañana cortado, Luis. ¿Quién es esa Nati que me contestó? It's me. I want to go out tonight. How would you transform it with would? How would you transform this with would? I want to go out tonight. I will to go. I will what? How, how do you use? I would what? I want to go out. I would like. I would like to go out. I would like to go out tonight, right? I would like to go out tonight. I would like to go out tonight. What about the next one? Do you want to come with us? Do you want? Do you want? Transform it using wood. Aquí están los ejemplos. Do you want some coffee? Would you like some coffee? Do you want to come with us? Would you like? Would you like to come? To come with us. Would you like to come with us? Very good job. Do you want a sandwich? Would you like? Would you like? Like. Would you like a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? Right? Would you like a sandwich? I want a bottle of water, please. I would like. I would like. Very good. I would like. I would like a bottle of water, please. I would like. Oh, sorry. I will make it different here. Sorry, I made it. I would like. Hasta yo, hasta mí me dio miedo. Ahorita me siento. I would like a bottle of water, please. I would like a bottle of water, please. And the last one. Where do you want to go? Where? Where? Where would? Would like. Do? Want to go? No, like want. No podemos ir juntos. Where would you like to go? Where, where you like would you like to go? Where would you like to go? Where? People, would you like a sandwich right now? Yes, please. Yes, I would. Right? Yes, I would. Or yes, please. That's a good answer, right? Yes, please. Or yes, I would. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Do you like the Spanish accent, says Jorge Antonio. You know, I love more the English natty than the Spanish natty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have two versions of yourself. Thank yeah, you, Jorge. Yeah, yeah the, the Spanish accent. Where would you like to go? These ones are the examples. These next ones, I need you to do them on your notebook. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do these ones on your notebook. Hagan la siguiente en su cuaderno. Go ahead. 
You have five more for your notebook. And you are going to send me the picture of that. <laughs> like in the school, como en la escuela. Me va a mandar la foto de las oraciones. I want to learn French. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I am going to call the attendance while you work. Mientras están trabajando, le puede pasar lista. Remember to say here or present. Okay, continue working, don't worry. Pueden seguir trabajando. Okay. It is. Christian Eduardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Present. Dennis Gerardo, ah, Dennis wrote on the chat that he had a personal issue. Okay. Diego Jose. Present. Edwin Ernesto. Stay here. Edwin Mauricio. He was Present. having issues. Thank you very much. Jorge Antonio. Here. Karen Lisette. Present. Carla Patricia. Present. Catherine Rosibel. Present. Luis Humberto. Present. Norma Yamile. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Víctor Manuel. Presente. Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Isabel Fuentes. Present. Thank you. And Johnny is donde quiera que esté. Very good. Yeah, you can go for sure. But if the camera there and go, don't worry. Just don't take the cell phone. That's the only thing. Teacher, can I go to the restroom? Yep. Uno del viernes pasó lista también. Yes. No, <laughs> yes. No, yes, yes. I called the attendance on Friday. I will check it right now. Ahorita se lo voy a mostrar. Let's see. Okay, I'm just. On Friday. Yes, Jorge, you were connected 74 minutes. Estuvo conectado 74 minutos el día viernes. Yeah, okay. tengo todas sus costillas contadas. Todo. <laughs> I have all the minutes that you connect. Please, people, don't miss classes. Toda esta semana no pueden perder clases. Because uh, it is the last one and we need to collect the minutes, okay? Todos estos minutos son importantes. And most of you need still a little bit. Muchos de ustedes todavía van como en 70%, 67%, and we need 80%. So please don't mix, don't miss classes. Aún si tienen algún percance, conéctense aunque sea de oyente, pero eh, no pierdan clases. Solo hay cuatro de ustedes que van arriba del 75%. So please don't miss classes, okay? Yeah. So check it. And please, uh, I am going to be waiting for you in the next module, okay? I hope. Empezamos ahí a poner una velita para estar en el siguiente módulo juntos. Okay, so uh, did you finish? Uh -huh. I hope, yes. I am crossing fingers for that. I have done it with 
with Luis, with Edwin, and the other ones that were with me before. So I hope that I will be with you in the next one. Yay! Lo dijeron la primera. Que no sé, no nos confiamos porque sí lo dijeron la primera vez también. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I had the opportunity to teach uh, like five of you from, from this group. So I hope to do the same, right? The idea is that you finish with the process. Les dan un proceso de reinscripción. Ya se reinscribieron para el siguiente módulo. Yes. yes. Okay, so yes. that's the important, okay? Tan pronto lo hagan, es mejor porque así quedan en el grupo juntos. So that's important, right? It's important that you do it. And if you did it already, si ya lo hicieron, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I hope that we are going to be together. We are going to be together the next module. I feel happy for that. So, examples of sentences. Here we go. We have... Okay. Right? Sorry, <laughs> I stop. I want to learn French. What is the form of wood? I would, I would like to learn French. I would like to learn French. Okay, what is the next one? What do you want for dessert? What do you want for dessert? What would you like, would you like what for dessert? What would you like for dessert? What would you like for dessert? About the next one, number eight. I want to stay with you today. I would like. I would like to stay. I with you today. I would like to stay with you today. Do you want to meet my family? Would you like to meet like, my family? Would you like to meet my family? Very good. Would and like, I would. I would like. I, I want an answer. I would like. Answer. Would like an answer. I would, I would like, like an answer. answer. I would like an answer. I would like an answer. Would you like to meet my family? <laughs> that would be a lot of fun, right? Hasta con dolor de estómago se fueron. If you meet my family, they are so much fun. My God, they are very crazy. How is your family, people? Are they very, are they very sociable or very serious? Sociable. Sociable. Very serious. Very serious. Very sociable. Mama, serious. <laughs> they, they don't know the word serious, right? So I think families are very nice in El Salvador. This one, want to and would like to. We have the two forms of question here. In the first one, what do you think it's the best option? He want to take pictures or he wants to take pictures? He wants to take, he wants to take pictures. He wants to take pictures, right? Because it's third person, right? Third person, he. What about the next one? She. She wants, she wants, she wants to go camping. Camp 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 she camp wants to go camping. She wants to go camping, right? She wants to go camping. They. They want. They want, they want to. to they want to go finish. They want to go fishing. Finish. 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 Fishing. Finish. No. Fishing. 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 Sorry, it's fishing. Ya no veo. Ya, come on. Espérame. I don't see. It's a. <laughs> there you go. I think that's that's a bigger I can do. Fishing. 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 Pesca. Ay, they want no. to go fishing. Pescando. Hmm? Pescando o pescado? No. Pescando. <laughs> they want to go fishing means quieren ir de pesca. Ay. To go fishing, fishing is the action, right? I want to go fishing. Fishing is the action of going to catch fish. I want to or I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to go 
sightseeing. Sightseeing. What is the meaning of what sightseeing? The meaning? sightseeing? Sightseeing. For example, if you say, let's take the car and let's drive around El Salvador. And then you stop in Joya de Seren. You stop in San Juan Opico. You stop in Santa Ana. You stop in a taco. And you take pictures and you go walking and everything. Sightseeing is when you go and meet new places. Okay? Ir a conocer lugares. To go sightseeing. Right? So like, hey, people, I want to go to Chalchuapa. And you go to the park, you go to El Tazumal, you go to the lagoon, and you go and see different places. If you say, people, I want to go to the center of San Salvador. And you go to the palace, you go to cathedral, you go to the park. So that is to go sightseeing. Salir a chotear, le decimos en el salvo. ¿Qué anda haciendo? Anda choteando, vos allá, conociendo pueblo. Anda haciendo sightseeing. Sightseeing. Good. I will go sightseeing on Sunday. You see? That's good. Carl and I. Carl and I. One. One, two, buy souvenirs. When you go sightseeing, it's very common that you buy souvenirs. What happens when you go to a taco? You say like, ah, mira, cositas que no tengo y no quiero, pero la voy a comprar. <laughs> and you buy things, little things. And you say like, mom, I brought you this from a taco. And your mom is like, oh, it's beautiful. Mom, I brought you this from whatever place, right? So like, oh, nice. Yeah, mira, una pulserita. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a souvenir, right? Un souvenir es un recuerdito. Okay. Yeah. I think I bought this one in the center of San Salvador. Ahí en el centro. <laughs> it's a souvenir. So that's a souvenir. Comprar recuerditos. Alan wants, wants to swimming. go swimming. swimming. Right? Alan wants to go Alan swimming. To go swimming. <laughs> what are all these activities, people? Todas estas actividades se hacen en una sola cosa. Take pictures, go camping, go fishing, go sightseeing, buy souvenirs, go swimming. <laughs> In which cases do you do these activities? ¿En qué situaciones hacemos todas estas actividades? Vacation. On vacations, right? On vacations. Excellent. When we are on vacations, we say, let's go to El Tunco. What do you do in El Tunco? Take a picture, a picture. In El Tunco, right? Say cheese. Say cheese, you say. That's a common thing, right? Go camping. Let's go to El Boquerón, you say. Let's go to Cerro Verde. Let's go to Monte Cristo. El Pital. El Pital, right? You go camping. And when you are there, you say, let's go fishing to Cuatepeque Lake, right? That is turquoise now. Hoy está turquesa. So you need to go. To go fishing, right? To go sightseeing. When you go around the places, it's like, oh, mira, bonito. Oh, look, look. Aunque ya haya ido 80 veces. Oh, mira. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> when you go sightseeing. When you buy souvenirs, right? And you go swimming. All these activities are very common on vacations. Do you like to go on vacations, people? I love it. I love it. I love to go on vacations, right? To go places. So I will make it smaller, this one. Sorry, Mr. Edwin. I will make it smaller. I need you to help me create the sentences. I need you to help me create the sentences. These are complete, but they are disorganized. How would you make the sentence? ¿Cómo la ordenarían? How would you organize it? Would you like? Huh? Would you like what? Would you like to go? To go on club Would you like to go on club? Mm, on club? Clubbing, Saturday. right? Would you like to go clubbing? Would you like to go clubbing on Saturday? 
Would you like to go clubbing on Saturday? What is the meaning of this? Would you like to go clubbing on Saturday? That you study in one disco, that you go to another one, you go to a restaurant, and you go this, that, if not the party to different places. Would you like to go clubbing on Saturday? What about the next one? Me with dinner have to want you do. What, what do you would you like? Don't use the words uh, that you have here. Uh, uh, like uh, what do uh, I what do you have? Don't ask that one. Do you want? want do you want, want right? Do uh, you la want? Falta de <laughs> <laughs> do you want uh, uh, to have dinner, dinner with, with me, right? Do you want to have dinner with me? What about the next one? What like to for birthday would you do on your? What do you what would what, what, what would you like like birthday? What would you like? ¿Qué sigue después de like? Your. El infinitivo con que lo armamos. What would you like? To. 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 What would you like to? Your. The verb? Your. You. No, <laughs> sorry. What Or. would you like to? Your. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Do. Do, very good. What would you like to do? What would you like to do for, for, for your birthday? What would you like to do for your birthday, right? What would you like to do for your birthday? I would like to have a party. Yay. What would you like to do for your birthday? The next one. I would, I would like to visit my friend. my friend. I would like to visit my friend, right? I would like to visit my friend. Very good one. And the last one? I want, I want, I want to I want to have a, party. a big party right i want to have a big party me too i i want to have a big party okay let's do the last exercise you have five minutes for this one okay you have five minutes and okay i need you to write six sentences using want and six sentences using would with I, you, he, she, we, and they. This is the last five minutes of the class. Tan pronto terminen, me las muestran, and you can leave. Six sentences using want and six sentences using would. Go ahead. Six and six. You can use any type of thing. Using want, six sentences using want, or once if it is he or she. And six sentences using would. Usaríamos también los... The verbs and everything. You can... Yeah, any sentence. Pueden inventar seis oraciones using want, exactly like this ones, and six sentences using would. Aquí tienen el inicio nada más. Solo le di los inicios. Very <coughs> well.
six sentences of each, okay? When you finish, let me know. You are all super concentrated. I like that. They're in tan concentrados. <laughs> I love them. You look very concentrated. I cannot see Christian, Carlita, Wendy. I cannot see you. Ah, there you are. Okay, so please. When you finish, send me a picture of the sentences on the chat, okay? Finish your sentences and send me a picture of them on the chat because I need to start the next class. So, my dear students, have a wonderful night and I am going to see you tomorrow. Please finish the sentences, okay? Finish the sentences and send me the picture. Have a beautiful night. Sleep well, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next class. See you tomorrow. Good see night. you, my dear students. Finish Bye. the sentences, okay? Finish Bye. and send them on the chat. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Send me the picture. Bye. 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 Bye.